this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Today I am doing another challenge, and today I am doing the Rainbow Sheep Challenge. And as you can see here, we have two pens full of sheep, but the sheep are all boring and white and have no colour to them. And so what me and Squid are going to do is we're going to have a race to see who can be the first person to dye their sheep every different colour that you can in Minecraft. Uh, so you can see along here, these are all of the, uh, the different colours that you can dye the sheep. And yeah, so basically, we're, once we're ready, uh, we're going to both set off, and we're in a uh, brand new survival world. Uh, this is a, a new seed, I haven't had a, a chance to, to have a look around it yet. Uh, but yeah, we just need to, to rush around, and uh, try and get every different colour dye, dye all the sheep, and then we win! And uh, you can see over here, I've built a little hut. This is where we uh, spent the night last night. Uh, there's Squid's bed down there. No, that's my bed down there, and there's Squid's bed down there. And uh, in here, uh, I have a bunch of basic provisions. You can see I've made us some chicken sandwiches. Uh, so I've got five chicken sandwiches that I'm going to gather up, so we don't need to uh, to worry about food for at least the start. i also got some torches and just some some basic stone tools as well, just to, to set us on, us on our way. And Squid's got the, uh, the same in his chest down there. And uh, yeah, this uh, challenge was set to me uh, by Dash Chud Pops. Uh, they actually uh, commented on the uh, the foot challenge that I did last week. Uh, I asked people to, to leave suggestions for future challenges. And uh, they basically said to, to try and dye uh, a sheep every different colour. And uh, sorry if you can hear some rain, by the way. It's actually just started tipping down outside my window as I started commentating. So uh, if you can hear some, some rain pattering on my window, sorry about that. Hopefully uh, it's going to calm down soon enough. Uh, anyway, I am ready. I've got all of my sandwiches and my tools. I'm going to pull this lever down here, which is going to shine a light, uh, which is basically saying to squeeze that I am ready, come on, let's get a move on. And then I need to go and charge around and try and make all of the uh, the different colours. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how to make all of them. I know Squid's been a lot more organised and he's actually uh, got a list uh, of how to, to make all of the different colours. But I think that's cheating. I kind of want to just go uh, straight into it. And I think Squid wants to, to ask something to me first. I'm not sure what uh, he wants to say to me. So let's see what uh, what's up with Squid and then we can, uh, yeah, go and get going and start the other uh, rainbow challenge. I guess I should start coming up with some sort of a strategy. I think blue is going to be the hardest uh, because I need to go mining and try and get some some lapis in order to, to get that. And uh, green might be difficult as well. Uh, is there a jungle? Uh, yeah, I think there is a jungle. I'm pretty sure there there is a jungle. And what do we... Oh, coca beans. Ah, uh, we need the jungle to get coca beans. I suppose you could get them in a dungeon anyway, so we don't even need one. And uh, I think he's about to do it. I think he's about to press the uh, the ready lever. Right, we are off. Let's go, 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 go. Let's get the easy ones first then. Uh, the, uh, the yellow... Uh, it's going to be super easy because I just need yellow flowers, uh, but I need to get a few of them just because to make uh, a lot of the different colours, uh, you need to combine yellow with um, some other colours. Like you need to combine yellow and red, I think, to, to make some certain colours and stuff. And oh, I think there's the, the jungle right over there as well. So I might as well uh, go and try and grab some cocoa beans. I should try and get all of them. <laughs> but I just go to the jungle and steal all the cocoa beans and then Squid's going to have to to go down to a, a dungeon uh, in order to get uh, all of his ones. And I need to keep uh, an eye out for some some lovely jobly love love petals as well. Oh, there's a pup down here. Well, that reminds me, bones. Bones is going to be another thing that's going to be very difficult to get. Uh, you need bones to make bone meal to uh, to make a lot of the colours. Like to make pink, you need to, to combine the uh, the love love petals with the uh, bone meal uh, in order to to make it pink. So uh, that's going to be quite a difficult one. So I might have to uh, when go mining for the lapis to have a, a big eye looking out for the um, all the skeletons uh, just to get as much bone meal as I can. But here we go. For go get some some cocoa beans. I am just going to grab a few just to make it a little bit harder for squid. We said that we are against each other, uh, but we're not allowed to kill each other. Uh, so we can steal things from each other and get. In each other's ways and like punch each other and stuff like that. Basically, we can annoy each other, but we can't really actually hurt each other. So it's kind of a, a peaceful, happy game. I mean, it's the rainbow sheep, the hippie, colourful rainbow sheep game. So uh, it's quite a cool challenge. And if you want to do this challenge yourself, uh, please do. All you need to do is load up a, a new empty survival world like I have. And uh, what I actually did was I loaded it up and then I asked Lee uh, to have a look around just to make sure that they, um, there was a desert and uh, a jungle, uh, just so we knew that there would be all the things we need. Uh, but yeah, so you can pretty much just load up a new survival world, and uh, you can do it by yourself as well. You could do it against the clock. You don't need to uh, to do it against anyone. Maybe just time yourself and see how quickly uh, you're able to, to get all of the uh, the different colours. Anyway, I've managed to find some red, and so that's uh, one of the, the most important things, and some more yellow down here. I might as well gather them up. And if I get some wood as well while I'm here, I can make a crafting table. And the, uh, the easiest way just to see uh, what you need to make uh, on Xbox 
box at least is to uh, just look at the crafting table uh, because it shows you how to make all of the other uh, different colored dyes and uh, I might actually go straight for actually what I'm going to do I'm going to go try and find the desert because uh, that's going to be one of the important things because I want to get to the desert before squid does uh, so that way I'm able to, to make sure that I get the the cactus and then once I've got the green I'm going to head down whoa somewhere like that and uh, <laughs> that could have been very dangerous <laughs> I don't actually know what happens if we die I don't think we set that as a rule I guess you can just uh, go and try and carry on uh, but yeah once I've gone to the uh, the desert and managed to, to pick up some cactus to make the uh, the green dye uh, then I'm going to go and uh, head straight down a mine and go straight after the uh, the lapis because uh, that's going to be one of the the hardest things for uh, for me to get I reckon because it's, it's relatively rare it's not as bad as diamonds not by a long shot uh, but apart from that it's probably uh, one of the uh, the rarest things you find mining and it would be good to to get some food as well at some point like my five chicken sandwiches they're very tasty and lovely uh, but they're not gonna they're not gonna uh, last forever so uh, if I just wander around on the surface I do have a map but it won't be it won't be filled in yet can I see the start of any sand right we seem to be in a snow biome down here so if I go and head up in this direction uh, hopefully we can uh, come across a desert and also with the um to make the green dye you don't just need cactus uh, well you all you need is cactus but you need to put it in a furnace and you actually need to to smelt the cactus is that the right word to use to cook melt the cactus i don't i don't know you got to put the uh, the um the cactus into a furnace whatever and uh, heat it up and then that is what actually turns it into the green dye and so at some point i'm going to have to do that. that that should be easy enough though like if i'm going mining for lapis i'm sure i'm going to gather up uh, more than enough cobblestone uh, in order to make myself a furnace but let's just keep heading up this way and let's just see if i can be the the first person to to get to the cactus what I, what I think we agreed to do is if there if we do get to the desert we can't steal all of the cactuses uh, because that would be unfair because then the other person would have literally no way of getting green uh, but what I might do is just steal like all of them apart from one and maybe maybe leave the one last piece in a, a really hidden place because it is a competition we are against each other this is a race for the uh, the rainbow sheep so uh, yeah he is my he is my nemesis and as uh, soon as he has tried to be all over organized and got a big list of what he wants to do and got a big old plan and then <laughs> I think, um, yeah, I think it would be good to, to try and troll him a little bit and make things uh, as hard for him as possible. And uh, he is recording as well, by the way, uh, in case you're you're not subscribed to Squid. And if you're not, then how dare you? Uh, yeah, just in case you're not, there will be a link in the description uh, to his channel. And so you can go and uh, check out his view. And so if you're curious to see what he's doing right now while I'm going around here doing not very much killing sheep. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can go and check out his view to, to see what he's doing. And this doesn't look much like a desert. This doesn't this doesn't look particularly promising. Let's check the old map. Right, there seems to be um seems to be like more mountains over this way. Well, if I keep heading up and then head to the right, hopefully we can find one down there. He stayed really close. Actually, I need to remember where the where the sheep are as well, because I need to to make my way back to that that pen at some point. So if I if I go wandering off too far, I might not be uh, able to to find my way back. But uh, it's probably quite good just to to get some room between me and Squid, so I know he's not gonna uh, go after me or try and get in my way or anything. Right, no desert this direction. So if I go to the right. And then go right again. I can start heading back down. And I can uh, take out a, a few more pigs on my way. Just so I can uh, try and keep my hunger up. It's quite a cool seed this actually. Uh, we're playing in the uh, the plastic texture pack. Uh, which is uh, probably my, my favourite texture pack. That there is uh, on the, the Xbox edition. So it's kind of nice just to, uh, just to wander around the landscape in this texture pack. Everything looks kind of fake and well plastic. As you might assume. Seeing as it's called the uh, the plastic texture pack. But I like it. I don't know. I just like the, I like, I like the look of it. It's all bright and colourful. Look down here. There's all these flowers that have just been broken off for some reason they're just sort of sitting there wandering around it's like as if they were there but then sand got put underneath them and then they were just there already broken anyway let's go and head in this direction and see if we can if we can find the cactus if it takes too long and i still haven't found it uh, and i find a, a good entrance to, to a to a cave i might just go and dig down anyway and just just go and uh, start the the journey trying to get the um uh, the lapis and the uh, the bone mill and uh, if you don't know how to get bone meal, by the way, all you need to do uh, is get the uh, the bones from a skeleton and then you can uh, make that into bone meal. But we don't need bone meal to, to make the um, white wool, by the way, because because the sheep are white already. At least that's that's one colour we don't need to do. You know, they're already white. And oh, there's some sand over there. Do you think that's a desert? No, I can't see any cacti. I think that's just a, a little beach over there. And then there's a bit more sand over this way. This looks this looks relatively promising. I think there's a, a swamp over in this direction as well. I don't think uh, I need a swamp for every, everything uh, for anything. And let me just have a little think about uh, what it is that I'm going to need. So I need the, the blue and then there's all the, the variations of blue. There's like cyan and then light blue and stuff. And then I obviously need the, the red and then the yellow are quite easy. 
and uh, then everything else is mainly just different combinations of them, uh, just sort of mixing all of those those colours together, like mixing the primary colours together with uh, bone meal and stuff. Oh no, oh, ink sacks! Ink sacks is something that I forgot about. We need ink sacks to do the, the black wool. Uh, okay, so while I'm wandering around here, uh, I might as well keep my, my eye out for some squiddy wids and uh, see if I can if I can go get some. And all of this, um, there's some lava down here. There's a, there's a tree there just burning away. I'm sure that's not gonna not gonna last for very long. All right, let's let's go around the water around this way. Still looking for the desert, uh, but try and keep uh, an eye out to see if I can see any squid in the water because uh, that, that that's one I'd kind of forgot about to be honest. And uh, it's a pretty easy one to get. You just need to you need to track them down. It's weird to to have not seen any yet though. And I can't see the, the desert either. I must, there must be, it must be pretty close because I've seen most of the world already. It must be uh, down in this bottom right hand corner. But as I said, if I do see the uh, the start of what looks like a, a good mine, I will just head down because I can imagine uh, the lap has been one of the, the hardest ones to, to get. Any any squid around here? Let me just go hop in the water down here. It's getting dark as well and I've not got any armor on or anything. So I do want to watch out for googlies. And there we go. There, there's some squid down there. Let's go and uh, take these out and let's just get the ink sacks uh, just so we can go and get that one uh, out the way seen as the the water is quite shallow here it's always hard to uh, to get the ink sacks from the squid uh, if you're in some some quite deep water so where are they they're around here somewhere squid squid where are you <laughs> what do you do if i turn around and just see ballistic squid right there where have they gone was it just, was i imagining it was i imagining seeing squids i'm sure i saw some down here have they all just gone have they all just disappeared on me well, that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? I'm sure I saw some squid down here. Okay, well, I don't know. I don't have time to wander around. I can't help but feeling I've just been wasting a lot of time. I think I've just been really unlucky and not been able to to find that desert. To be honest, I hope uh, squid hasn't gone and got a load already. What I think I might do is just gather up all of the materials and then just go back to the uh, the sheep pen and just start um. Uh, turning them all into the dyes and mixing them all together uh, rather than doing it as I wander around. And I do have torches as well, actually. I can uh, light up the, the area a little bit. And oh, there's a, a cave down here. Should I just go and head down this way? Does this look like a good cave? Here we go. This looks like a, a pretty good cave. So I literally don't need anything uh, apart from lapis. Actually, I think I might need to get some, some coal uh, and uh, some iron just because I think I might need to make an iron pickaxe. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm not sure whether you can actually... um. Uh, yeah, whether you can uh, get lapis by using a stone one. I think you might need iron, but I'm not sure. If I'm wrong, don't have a go at me. I'm just <laughs> I'm just still a little bit rubbish at this game. All right, so let's go gather up some coal anyway so I can make some more torches, which will be uh, always just quite handy anyway. And let's try and avoid the lava. That would not be good. And oh no, is this just where the cave goes to? I know it does drop down here a little bit. It might also be a good idea to, to make uh, an iron sword, but I'm not going to worry about that for too long. Maybe uh, if I set down to put down a furnace and get some spare iron, I'll make a, an iron sword as well. Just for my own protection. Maybe some, some iron armor uh, wouldn't be a bad idea. At least to, to get my, my iron boots on just so I can go around dressed uh, in stampy style would be uh, a good idea. And this looks like a, a quite good cave. I'm not sure how deep you need to be to get lapis. You generally uh, do find it while you're you're quite low down though. So let me just go grab a, a bit more coal just while it's here. And uh, let's keep heading in this direction. Is there something up here? Let me just go and try and slowly push my way through this water. Water can be so annoying in caves like this, can't it? When it's just <laughs> slowly pushing you back and you just got to struggle your way up. I'm not even sure if there's going to be uh, anything up here either. I think this might just be uh, going to a dead end. Oh, no, I think this was a bit of a rubbish cave. Right, should I just do it? Should I just dig down then and just see if I can go get the lapis? Just try and get it out the way. Let's just dig down this way and then I'll hopefully just go and run into uh, another cave. I might go and... Um get a, a furnace cooking as well just to get the iron cooking and just so I can be going and getting all my, my iron stuff as well as I'm down here. And then if I just keep digging down for long enough, I should eventually either uh, run into the um, uh, to like a, another natural cave. If not, I just get some some lapis that is going to be there anyway. So uh, to be honest, I am starting to, to panic a little bit now. I've got a feeling that I've been wasting time too much and I do really want to uh, just try and get all this stuff. So let's go and make a crafting table, shall we? And then uh, I'll be able to, to make my furnace and I can go and start uh, the, the iron smelting away so uh, let's go make a, a furnace and plonk that down there uh, go put half my coal into here and then go put the iron in so that's going to be there going so that's soon going to get me uh, an iron pickaxe or well enough iron to make an iron pickaxe and then so once I get that I'll be able to, to dig down way quicker than I am and then once I get down to the uh, the bottom few layers and then I'm just going to dig around because I think you do find uh, lapis quite low like coal and iron you always seem to, to be able to just sort of randomly find on the surface but you normally uh, find lapis while you're you're digging uh, quite deep so I think if I just go quite low down I think I'm just going to increase 
the uh, the chances of getting it. To be honest, I thought this cave was going to be way better than it was. It seemed to be really big. You never know. You sometimes see like a massive opening to a cave and you think, whoa, it's going to be massive. And then you go down and there's literally nothing here. And sometimes it's the opposite. Sometimes you find just like a little tiny hole. And you go and hop down, like, oh, no, what's down in this little hole? And then there's a massive ravine down there and, like, all sorts of uh, amazing stuff all over the place. Uh, but, yeah, if I just dig down a little bit more, and then I'm going to hop back upstairs and just go and grab all of that iron. And then once I've made the, the iron pickaxe, I'll be able to dig way quicker and be able to, uh, yeah, get down to bedrock and just start digging around there. I bet you I'm going to find, like, a load of diamonds or something. Something that I'm normally looking for, but I bet I'm going to find it now and I don't want it. Like, you're always looking for diamonds, and then you see lapis and you get your hopes up. You're like, oh, it's only lapis, not diamonds. It's going to be the opposite for me now, isn't it? I'm going to see, I'm going to see some diamonds and be like, yay, I found lapis. And then it will turn out just to, just, just to be diamonds. And then I'll be disappointed. I think I'll be the, the first person to be playing Minecraft, to be disappointed to come across a load of diamonds. <laughs> Even if I do do that anyway. All right, let's go and hop back up here then. Let's go and grab the, um, the iron out of my furnace. I might as well just take the furnace with me. As soon as I seem to be going quite deep in my crafting table, I might as well grab them with me. And, uh, let's make myself then, uh, an iron pick axe and uh, I'll make that iron sword as well just to, uh, just to give me a bit of better protection as I go down there. And I might as well use up the, the rest of the uh, the stone uh, pickaxe just because it's nearly destroyed now anyway. I might as well uh, just to break that just so I can uh, save a bit more of my iron pickaxe. And it's always like this whenever you're you're going down. When you just dig down like two blocks like this, you go down just banging your head on every block on the way down. <laughs> oh dear. Luckily it doesn't actually hurt you. Luckily there's not like a, like something like the Oculus Rift, something that you like you wear in your head so like you feel it. Imagine that. Imagine Imagine playing Minecraft where it was like, um, like 4D. Like, so say if you put a torch down, you feel the heat from it. Or if you, like, jump down from somewhere, it hurts your legs or something. <laughs> I don't know what would happen when a, when a creeper explodes, to be honest. I think having a creeper explode in-game is probably scary enough for me. I don't need uh, anything to actually feel like it's blowing up next to me. And uh, where's my shovel? Did I have a shovel on me? I don't think I, I had a shovel, actually. Right, uh, I think I, I won't worry about it for now. It doesn't seem to be uh, too much dirt. I just dig it away like that. And uh, I do need to, to make some more torches soon as well. I've not been very lucky here. Normally if you just dig in any direction for long enough you end up uh, just coming across a cave and there we go there's that that old pickaxe gone but that doesn't really matter at least I can just use my better pickaxe and let's dig down in a different direction for a bit then I uh, can't be bothered uh, with dealing with all of the uh, the gravel so let's just go uh, dig down in uh, this direction for a little bit and uh, see if we're gonna have uh, any better luck oh is this uh, is this the start of a cave no it's so dark down here I can hardly see anything oh this is bedrock okay we've gone all the way down to bedrock then uh, so if I just go and start digging around uh, probably around this level I reckon there's gonna be a good chance of getting lapis uh, so I'm gonna go and just start digging a, a tunnel down in this direction uh, sadly though uh, we have probably just about run out of this first episode and so I'm gonna end the first episode here and just gonna carry on digging for a bit and then I'll bring you back in on the second episode uh, once it looks like uh, I might be uh, onto a, a good cave or I uh, might have been able to, to find some lapis uh, so yeah I want to thank you all very much for watching uh, I'll be leaving a, a link in the description uh, to the uh, the next part of the uh, the rainbow sheep challenge uh, once I've uploaded it so once again thank you for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!